Welcome back to Hand of Fate. This time, we're going to give Endless Mode a shot. I've uh, had our fate to Warlord, which is the hard mode of this game. It gives us a little bit more power in combat, but also combats will be uh, more deadly for us. We're mainly doing this to unlock some cards, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride with me. And as you can see here, we're playing on Halloween, and we've got a nice little goblin lantern to accompany us. Thankfully, in case you didn't then set the fate uh, in the deck builder mode and story mode, endless mode will still show you the fates here. With any luck, we'll get the Warlord 1 encounter, and won't die too fast. What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Ha, let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. Well, I didn't expect that, but uh, sure. What sort of scoundrel would go through a sleeping man's belongings? As much as I'd like to attack, this is the continuation of the ghost encounter. And lowering our weapon will get us. I am sorry. Oof. The token is yours. Let us see what you do with your newfound abilities. How will you cross this time? And in case anyone's wondering, usually when you have these cards, if it says turn back, it means turn back. You have to progress and uh, do the attempt. Choose from these options. Oh, fantastic. I'm sure you are grateful for that. A quest that may lead you down many paths towards jealously guarded secrets. Interesting. Ooh. What? Why not? Well, we know this is the exit here, so we might as well just do this. Whatever was under there, though, is now lost to us. For now, at least. Let's find out what type of character you really are. Dust should be fairly easy, even if they are upgraded. You can see it by the three colored pips on the side of the number. But we at least have natural weapon and shield this time. And like last run. Ooh. 
Ooh, fantastic. Uh, I'm low on food. Always good. A shield for the marathon, not the sprint. As pleases you. Through the woods and see what lies beyond. Well, pretty good start. And here we go. Dealer spite. So in endless mode, every floor you go down makes your adventure slightly more difficult. And uh, yeah, the dealer's a bastard and hates us and wants us to fail. We get a couple things out of the deck, in this case all monsters, and you might have noticed scales. Those are lizardmen. We didn't encounter them in the main game yet, but we very well might here. I appreciate your ingenuity. I look forward to seeing how you approach this particular challenge. Ah, that is going to suck. Also, every time you go down a floor, something bad happens to you. Ideally, you don't get cursed, but this these can pile up. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. Ooh. This might have curse removal. Yes. I have just enough to remove both curses. I do want food, though. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm going to need this. Possible chance card I'm going to live with for now. I do not want to lose gold, though. Ah. Some curses are more expensive to remove than others. Some are massively expensive. We'll see that in a regular story run. But randomly added curses are usually cheaper. I could sell the shield I have, but extra equipment might help me in the long run. Especially if something wants to take my shield. Yeah, sure, why not? Huge success would have been nice, but oh well. It ratmen hunting. Made an enemy of the ratmen. They do not normally attack unless provoked. We are going to see these cards a lot until we actually deal with the ratmen. Fighting the ratmen for the first time, specifically the Jack of Plague, is going to lock these in our deck. But it might be a small chance of getting something. That's what I like. Ratmen have a chance of uh, dropping food gain, which makes up for my little detour up here. Somewhat. It's 
enough to put you off crossing at bridges like this. Surely there's an alternative that would leave you less exposed and vulnerable. Funny enough, interrupting the animation uh, at the beginning of a fight with all the cards dropping down is a little bit to your advantage because the monster spawn animation does not speed up. Only you're spawning onto the field. Not much of an exploit, but still, every little advantage can be useful sometimes. Upper bottom of deck. Oh. There. Movement speed is nice, but this could be good in the long run. Well, why not? A small aid to navigation, but still. But we are wearing the Warlord Helm. So, just this time. I'll go for the Fleet Cuffs instead. Might get armor later. Is always better. Head downwards if you dare. Just this time. Let's just complete the floor. The battlefield of honor, or at least a close approximation. We can do this. Should be good. Hopefully I'll get something good out of it. I was going to speed this portion up, but it's a nice little introduction to Blizzardmen. Blizzardmen have two main varieties. One on the left is a shield and uh, melee type. They are as annoying as anything else that has a shield. You have to knock them out, or knock the shield out of the way. The other one, who's refusing to attack, here we go, shoots a fireball, and fire does hurt. Lizardmen also do have some unblockable attacks, and although they don't have the poison of Ratmen, they are a pretty straight upgrade when it comes to combat. Ooh, 
This is why the Crucible in hard mode is not the best of ideas. But taking out all the ranged fighters is fantastic for your health. And I'm still not dead. This is also a little bit of a good time to talk about combat. We faced melee, uh, melee enemies. We faced ranged enemies. We faced all four of the major suits, which are going to be Dust, Gull, Plague, and Scales. And we've also faced the Hell Suit. And there are some other special enemy types that we will encounter later. But they all... They all have either Deeper towards our foe. melee or ranged attacks, pretty much. Then you also have the bosses of a dungeon, which can also appear as regular enemies later. Well, hold on one sec. Oof. Ah, that's not too bad. At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? The acquiring of power, the retaining of power, and most importantly, the use of power. Yeah, these layouts are not great, but... Crypt rubbing. I'm not sure the dead fighting back makes this any more dignified. So anyhow. So, melee, ranged, and then boss types, roughly. And the combat system here has an interesting quirk. All melee enemies tend to attack in a queue. This is to say, from regular enemies, you're only really going to get one attack at a time from any source. Same from ranged enemies. You can have a melee enemy and a ranged enemy attack at once. And you can see that based on the symbols. But you very rarely have... Actually, never have two melee enemies attack at the same time. And this is true regardless of what suit is in the group. So you could have dust and you can have plague and wouldn't matter. Same with ranged. One enemy will, will attack ranged at one. The bosses seem to have their own attack queue. So a boss can pretty much attack whenever they feel like. The pendulum can swing both ways. You know, it, it's slow, but why not? Noble in mind, or simply noble by birth. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, the, well, I have to sell my shield to continue. It's a good shield, um, but I did keep my other one. I'm sure you are grateful for that. No, not really. Five gold is crappy. Let's take a look. Yep, regular shield. Oh well. Better than nothing. Who we got? 
Ooh. Not bad. Sure, why not? Hold effects are nice. Caution, adventurer. This armor pulls energy from the world around you. Of course, killing their leader is a fine way to provoke them. You can see the cold aura, but that doesn't mean this isn't a boatload of rats. Although not having the mace is probably to my advantage here. That mace would be kind of slow. And I'm still getting hit because it's. Yep, poison cloud. And I'm right. Yep. That wasn't intended, but you know what? I think this is a pretty good first showing of uh, endless mode and so how the game takes another life. Do not worry though. You may try again. Ah, death. It takes us all in time. Not generally this quickly, mind you. I was kind of hoping for that to be a little bit longer, but hey, we did unlock a couple cards, including one annoying one. I really dislike the Noble Traitor. Um, we'll give it a shot again another time. For now, let's activate these cards and I will see you later.